In less than 24 hours, we're gonna be getting a PetSim 99 update we have been waiting over a month for. And since we've never waited this long for an update in this game, it's safe to assume this is going to be the biggest update yet. And in this video, I am going to be going over every single leak that has been announced by Preston himself, so all of these are 100% official. Now, for me, as of recording this video, as you can see, there's still 24 hours and 59 minutes so there's most likely going to be a couple of more leaks after i upload this video and if you want to stay updated on those join our discord server link is in the description we do massive giveaways on there all the time and everyone is kept up to date with the latest leaks in that server and also make sure to subscribe because once we hit 5k subs we're going to be doing a huge pet giveaway but without further ado let's get into these leaks first up we have one that pretty much everyone knows about about, and that is tech world since we have reached 99 areas in petsim 99 there's no more room in this world for more areas so we've got to move to a new one which is why in next update the next world is gonna be tech world i'm also gonna throw up on screen now a few different areas that will be in tech world we've got these tall buildings with some air conditioners in them we've got these neon light trees we have a little jungle looking area and we have an underwater area now these are just four of the new areas i don't know if there's going to be 25 or 50 new areas considering we just waited over a month i'm kind of hoping there's going to be 50 new areas but i don't think there will be i'm pretty sure there's just going to be 25 and a new rebirth but nothing on that has been leaked yet so nobody knows for sure the next thing we got is a new inventory system so as you can see everything is sorted a lot nicer it's going to be a lot easier to find things and this is really just a quality of life kind of update while on the topic of quality of life updates as you can see here we're gonna have new teleport features so rather than having to scroll constantly to find where you want to teleport you can easily sort it to find what you need easily so if you want to go to vending machines you can sort it by vending machines if you want to sort it by mini games you can sort it by mini games rather than having to scroll through the hundred plus areas that there's gonna be to find what you want now one issue a lot of people have is vending machines and how now, there's so many of them so if you want to use them you have to go throughout the whole map every single time you want to buy them all out however that's not going to be an issue anymore as you can see this is called the supercomputer. now this computer is going to be in tech world along with every other leak i'm going over and this is actually going to let you access every single machine in world one from one single computer so if you want to buy out all the vending machines in world one all you have to do is go up to this computer click a couple of buttons and you're good to go and it's not just vending machines it is any machine in world one so for example the magic machine you'll be able to use from it upgrading potions upgrading enchants the gold machine the rainbow machine all of those will be available from one single computer the next leak we have are a couple of ultimates now although it's not a hundred percent confirmed how you're gonna be able to get these ultimates it is believed that all you have to do is get an enchant and once you have that enchant there's a random chance of the ultimate spawning but again that hasn't been a hundred percent leaked so it could be charms it could be certain pets nobody knows for sure i think the ultimate animations look really clean let me know what you guys think down in the comments we've also got a daily quest machine so once you reach rank 18 there's really nothing to do you don't have anything to grind for except getting a better pet team so more huge pets and even titanic pets but other than that the game is pretty stale which i believe is why they added this so now every day there's going to be a machine you can go up to you can pick one of three cards and it's going to give you a quest it's either going to be that or you can go up to the machine it'll give you a quest and then once you do it you pick one of three cards to win a reward i don't know which one it is but it's one of those and on the topic of the game becoming a little bit stale in the later game as you can see on the screen they are adding masteries i'm personally most excited for these masteries because it's going to give you something to grind and at the same time of grinding it, it's gonna help you out in whatever you're gonna mastery in. For example, eggs hatching. Once you hatch some eggs, you're gonna develop a higher level mastery for it. And it's gonna help you hatch eggs faster, maybe improve your luck, shiny odds, all that stuff. And same with buying stuff from merchants, enchants, potions, breakables. They're all gonna have separate masteries that you can level up. And it's even been confirmed that in the merchant mastery, one of the levels is gonna let you buy things from vending machines 
automatically for free. So every time a vending machine comes up, you'll just automatically get the item and you don't have to spend anything. I'm gonna throw up on screen right now what they call the item creator. Now the caption for this is it creates items, potions, and enchants out of thin air. And the machine itself says complete quest for items. So I'm guessing for those super difficult items to obtain such as pinatas, you're gonna be able to actually complete quests to then create those items. Now for late game players like myself, when you already have hundreds of each item, except the pinata, the pinata is the only rare one for me, but everything else I have like a ton of items. So I don't know if this machine is gonna be super helpful, but for newer players, this is gonna be awesome. Now this leak right here, I'm a little confused about. It's a toilet, but it's like has rockets on the side. I have no idea what this could be used for. I don't really understand it at all, but the, it is a leak. So t do, do what you want with it. Maybe it's a new kind of pet. Maybe it's a new hoverboard. I, I do not know. Now, before we go over the biggest leak we have for Pet Simulator 99, make sure to comment down below. I like chicken if you've made it this far in the video and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, the final leak we have for Pet Simulator 99 Update 6 is a new easy huge pet. Now, as you may know, the huge Happy Rock is the most common huge by far. There's literally like almost 600,000 of them, I'm pretty sure. They're super common, but at the same time, it's a huge pet, so it does boost your team quite a bit. And luckily for the free-to-play players, they are actually adding a brand new easy huge called the Huge Happy Computer. I think this huge looks pretty cute, and it's important to note that it's not 100% confirmed, but there have been leaked messages from developers of the game that are saying that huge enchants, huge potions, all of that won't affect the odds of getting this huge happy computer. Which makes sense because if we go to enchants and we go to huge hunters, it says increases the odds of hatching active huge pets. And active huge pets are going to be the ones up on this billboard. And since this computer isn't up on the billboard, it's just an easy pet you can get, I don't think it's actually going to have any effect. It's also important to note that this is going to be a limited time huge. So if you want to get it, you have to play the update this this weekend because I don't know how long it's gonna be available it might only be a day it might be a whole week I don't know but make sure to get your hands on some because it's definitely not gonna be around forever those are all of the official leaks I have for you guys there are some more non-official leaks but I can't really go over those without getting in trouble and those aren't really confirmed everything I went over today is a hundred percent confirmed by the developers and like I said there might have been some leaks that I missed there's gonna be more leaks after I upload this video so join the discord if you want to stay up to date on those thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one